This here is happening all over the world. Girls getting excluded for playing or wanting to play more masculine sports. Everyone should have equal opportunities in choosing their athletic activities and one should not be excluded based on gender. In 1972, Richard Nixon signed the document for Title IX to become official law. Title IX is about how nobody based on gender identity should have more or less resources when it comes to athleticism. Manon Marion was a 20-year-old female goalie who broke the NHL gender barrier. She had told herself that it was just another normal game like usual. She was the first woman to play in a major league American pro sports league. Title IX was not originally for sports, but has helped equality between women and men. Not only has Title IX made an impact on expanding more feminine sports, it has helped with women's education. Women have been able to get a better paycheck and are able to get better and more college degrees. Mariel Zahunis, she wasn't originally supposed to be a member of the 2004 U.S. Olympic team, but when another fencer dropped out, she was put on the team to become the next star. She went on becoming the first U.S. fencer to win an Olympic gold medal in 100 years and the first ever Olympic gold medalist in a woman's saber. She had won an Olympic title in 2008 and winning five world championships. Title IX, importantly, has been applied to prevent sexual harassment and sexual violence. It not only prevents sexual harassment, but it motivates young women to protect themselves as well. Title IX is an amazing accomplishment and has helped achieve more gender equality in the United States. It has been proven that women, men, and all genders should enjoy the same rights, resources, opportunities, and careers. Title IX has and will continue breaking barriers between gender qualifications for sports and careers all over the U.S. Title IX has been helping show that no matter whether you wear pants or dresses, whether you're a woman or a man, or identify as something else, we should all be entitled to the same educational and athletic opportunities. Tony Harris made history in February of 2019 by becoming the first female skill position football player to sign an NLY, letter of intent. Harris spent the last two years playing football at East Los Angeles College in California. The 22-year-old was featured in a Toyota Super Bowl commercial as well. Harris stated that our goal is to become the first female player. Harris stated that if it doesn't happen, I can just pave the way for another little girl to come out and play, or even start a woman's NFL. There are people in this world that say no, people say stop, and you can't. This is not for you. Then there are people like Tony Harris who don't listen. They won't accept no, they won't, they won't and can't be stopped by words and not by others' limitations and not by cancer. She has heard the word no often in her life. It is a word that she has learned to ignore. I hate when people put limitations on my life, she said. Don't do that. It's not your life. Don't put limitations on something I know I can achieve. President Richard Nixon, after signing the document, said that gender should not exclude one from playing in a sport. Teams are separated by gender, which is unfair. Since this law, Title IX has been best known for its impact on allowing women to participate in high school and college sports. In the original statement, Title IX made no clear mention of sports, but has still helped in increase the number of female athletes in sports and paved the way through more gender equality. Renee Davis is a former American Little League baseball pitcher from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She was one of the two girls who played in the Chess and 14 Little League World Series. Davis is currently 18 and in her senior year at Springside Chestnut Hill Academy in Philadelphia. Davis has taken an all in stride. She says she just enjoyed being a teenager, competing in school sports, and hanging out with friends. And she also continues to be a role model for youngsters and grown ups. Renee Davis is an inspiration for kids across our city that you can, and says that you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it, despite obstacles that may seem in the way, said Philadelphia Council member Kiana Johnson. I always said that I have a different mind like everyone else. I, am, I have a mindset that is older than I am. I think about what I'm doing, the right things. I like to think about the things before I do them. Whatever my guts say, I do it, said Davis. Title IX was enacted as a follow-up of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The 1964 Act was made to end discrimination in various ways based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Stephanie LeBay had been playing soccer forever and she wanted to step up and try something new, so she decided to find a men's team instead. Growing up, LeBay had played ice hockey and she looked up to female players such as Haley Wickenheiser, who played for men's league in Finland and Sweden. Soon she started playing soccer. Her other coaches in her early life didn't believe that she was going to make it on a men's team because she was female and females have less power. I started thinking about that in soccer, but nobody's ever really done that in the soccer world, she said. I thought, why not me, until she found a coach who would take her in to play in a men's league and give her the same treatment as, any, as the other men on her team. But buried inside the law that President Richard Nixon signed on June 23, 1972 was a little amendment that would revolutionize sports, remake education for girls, and prove to be one of the most significant civil rights laws for women in American history.
Nancy Liverman decided to come back at age 50 to play for the WNBA's deed for the LA Lakers Summer League team. But there was one connection to her old team. Kobe Bryant approached Liverman to learn her secret to longevity. Liverman pointed out that it means a lot. According to a woman who has been played and coached in both NBA system and the WNBA system. Detroit shock, she was struck by how much things had changed since she had played. Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972 had a simple goal, to end sex discrimination in schools that receive federal money. They had the ERA Equal Rights Amendment passed, however it wouldn't have been needed. But as approval of the constitutional amendment stalled in the states, Title IX had become a law that endured and made a difference. Edith Green, a congresswoman from Portland, began working on the law in the early 1970s, nicknamed Miss Education. For many years of her work on higher education, she was appalled to learn that public schools could create such special programs for boys that excluded girls. At the time, girls were often discouraged for taking advanced math and science classes. Female teachers rarely became principals. In many law schools and medical schools, had quotas that kept women to no more than 10% of the class. All she wanted was for girls and women to have a good, a fair deal. But over and over, her male colleagues told her women just don't want to stay home and raise families. Men need those opportunities, but women don't. In conclusion, everyone has an equal ability in active sports with others. It doesn't matter the gender, the clothes, the race, religion, or, nor the way you act. Nobody should be excluded depending on gender. It should be based on your ability if you are compassionate and courageous. Bell Tunnel 9 was not dedicated to sports, it has still paved the way for more gender equality.